from the mighty Mississippi River to a treacherous Great Lake. Inside one. We're taking you to both today and crowning our first champion. The competition begins now on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We are revved up and ready to go. It's the final day of action of the inaugural event of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We are here in Red Wing, Minnesota, where day one showed walleye anglers from across North America facing each other in strong competition and dramatic shifts in weather. Fish, 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 fish. fish. Nice! Yeah. Good job! <laughs> Despite the challenges, many anglers brought back some nice bags to the weigh-in. Being both a professional and amateur circuit, seasoned pros and walleye enthusiasts are randomly paired each day, where they combine efforts and bring back to the scale their best five fish limit. Let's get that weight and find out if you do have the Jimmy John's Freaky Big Delivery. 23.76 pounds, range of here are the standings for day one. Your Jimmy John's Freaky Good Catch Pat File is on top with 23.76 pounds. With just nearly a four pound lead over second place John Swanstrom, pros like Maury Schmerbach and Corey Springle are eager to begin another day because on the mighty Mississippi River, this is still anybody's game. <laughs> Yesterday we were catching the fish and everyone was watching us. It's, if somebody could find big fish, Katrina Cut could go, someone could get 30 pounds. I mean, but I think if I, I think if I can get about 15 pounds, I, I, it's going to be hard for, you know, some, then someone's got to weigh 20 to catch me, so, oh, he's got a fish. Today we're watching Tommy catch fish. Better to be catching than watching. What these guys are facing is ever-changing conditions. It is spring. This has been one of the latest springs ever on history. So, you know, this Mississippi watershed is just overflowed with, with snow and moisture. So what's happening now, each day goes by, more and more water is coming through here at Red Wing. The gates are getting opened up, the water's rising, changing the locations of the fish. Those locations change and more water comes in, the temperature also changes. That's gonna directly affect the mood of the fish. Well, the only thing that concerns me is the rising water. Those fish sometimes move back further, or they may move a quarter mile on you. So uh, it's, it's a funny thing. If everybody had the answer, everybody would be a winner all the time. So today I'm going to start where I caught the big fish, and hopefully we can get some before the crowd starts moving in. I kind of like this format because if you're fishing with a co-angler, you can bring a co-angler with you to share expenses and uh, that way they, the co-anglers have a chance to uh, see what a lot of the top fishermen do. That's a neat thing about the co-angler deal where you can switch boats, switch boaters. You never know who you're going to get and what you're going to be doing, the techniques. Live in the Wisconsin area just to come to Minnesota and to do this with a actually a guide, you know, it's a really, really neat deal. You know, in these tournaments, especially on rivers, you'll see a lot of guys hand lining. When it's really cold, I really didn't care for it, so they can cover a lot of ground. It's very effective. Everybody has their preference. I, I like to feel the bottom, what's going on. When I get in good hard bottom, you know it right away when you got the rod in your hand. Stand right up here. Got the swivel, so he's getting close. Yeah. 
walleyes are really all about detail. So, you know, on a crankbait bite, it may be how fast the crankbait that that angler chose that day and how fast it's wobbling from side to side in order to trigger an eight pounder versus a six pounder. Going for a win and win and a ranger boy. Now, today it's supposed to warm up to 72, 73 degrees, so hopefully these fish will kick in a little better. The water temp has come up about five, six degrees in the last couple of days, which I think should be a plus. With warmer temperatures, day two is shaping up for more keepers, and anglers are starting to chase down yesterday's leader. Much more to come. The final day is here of the inaugural Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Some people wait for the fish to bite, and some people go get them with a Mercury Optimax Pro XS. The time-tested, tournament-proven choice of champions and weekend warriors alike. Pair it with an innovative Fury propeller and the precise control of a motor guide trolling motor, and you'll have the ultimate fishing rig. See how Mercury gets you first to the fish at mercurymarine.com slash performance. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Legendary quality. At Ranger, it's an unparalleled commitment to incredible strength. With the industry's only full truded transom, we don't rely on the upper deck to support the transom and motor. It's a difference so strong, we sliced off this rear deck to show its independence from the transom. From total performance to your peace of mind. Cut open the whole story at rangerstrong.com. Hello, Jimmy John's. Someone order Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's. Order online at jimmyjohns.com. Triton Boats, the long leader in performance, fishability, and quality for bass anglers and for coastal fishermen, now offers the Fish Hunter Series, the best walleye boats anywhere. Big, deep boats built to take on rough water season after season. The 216 and the 186 boast wider transoms, cavernous storage, the biggest live wells in class, and Triton's famed lifetime limited warranty. Go ahead, make it tough on the competition. Visit your Triton dealer today. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ranger. Still building legends one at a time. Triton, we take America fishing. Power pole, swift, silent, secure. Lucas Oil, high performance oil products. Day two, here we are. We've got more sunshine than we even had on day one. It's already warmer. I mean, we're really excited here in Minnesota. It's, the, the winter is finally over. Every degree the water temperature goes up, the more active the fish, or it kicks another fish into gear, more willing to bite. And I think what we're gonna see happen here today is we're gonna see more, bigger fish cross our stage. Here's a fish that uh, we caught just a couple hours ago. Yeah, so we're hoping to get a couple more of these in the box. and. Got an hour and 45 minutes to see what we can do. You know, going into the day and, and even watching the fish being caught here up on the corner, until this current went down, this was definitely the place to be. And I, and I, you know, I still think, who knows, you know, a half hour from now, a school of fish comes in here, it's just how it can go. But uh, 
we weren't in the right place at the right time. We needed to be up here on the front at nine o'clock, eight o'clock this morning. Pat Vile, visibly frustrated with his second day of fishing. The pressure is on while others are finding keepers as the water temperatures begin to rise. We join pro Jason Shaker at On the Water. And this tournament's gonna be anybody's, anybody's game to win. This is one of the toughest bites I've ever seen in Red Wing. It's, it's uh, since I've been coming here anyway, back in the early, mid 90s, I guess. Roll of the dice here, I mean, you can pull into one spot and boom, 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 and you can have five good ones quick. Fish. Come on, be the right one. Oh yeah, get him. No. That worked out all right. <laughs> Holy crap, look at the size of that thing. That's what I was just talking about, <laughs> I told you guys. We could film again for 10 years and that probably never happened. <laughs> Not that fast anyway. <laughs> oh, that's a Mississippi River dude right there, 28 inches. That one came on the dropper, came on the big jig and twister tail, power bait twister. Pat's got a heck of a lead and I don't know if he got a spot back or not, but I'm guessing if he did, he'll catch him again. But if he didn't, well then you're talking about the other guys in the top five that are, you know, 15 pounds and up on day one. They got a shot at winning this thing. We'll see, it's gonna be interesting weighing. And interesting it was. Pat was the last to weigh in while young gun Corey Springle was holding down the lead in total weight. As it turns out, Pat actually didn't come to the stage empty-handed at all. That is, of course, the Jimmy John's Freaky Good Delivery Bag of the Day. You guys got some fish, they're gonna bring it up. Pat Vile's gonna set it in there. We're gonna need, Pat, you're gonna need to weigh three pounds and five ounces to be crowned. Take the bag out. And let's see what this fish is. We wanna take a look at this fish. Tournament director Anthony Wright's changing the, the whole mood here. Pat's digging in. Lifts it up. Nothing there. Corey Spiegel, you're the National Wildlife Tour champion. Coming into the weigh-in, I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought it was going to be, you know, be better than top 10, but I was down from first place by five pounds going into the second day. You know, Pat had to catch maybe a three-pounder and uh, you know he won, and you know so I wasn't expecting the win at all. I just love the new circuit. I mean, it's going places. There's no reason why you wouldn't want to fish the NWT. In addition to Corey's come from behind win, we have our first place co-angler of the tournament, Mike Bosch, sharing the limelight as the first ever co-angler winner of the inaugural Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Here is your final leaderboard of the tournament, with Corey on top. It will be interesting to see how his season progresses as he and everyone else will be chasing down the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year prize. Stay tuned. When we return, we see our first ever winner, Corey Springle, and other National Walleye Tour anglers battle the elements of the big waters of Lake Erie. Our second stop in Port Clinton, Ohio, of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour is up next. Don't go away. That's definitely an upgrade. With a great history in drag racing. And now into the marine market. Lucas is proud to offer an ethanol treatment for a wide range of boat motors on the market today. Lucas Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner with stabilizers was developed to specifically address issues associated with using ethanol-based fuels. Increase your mileage and performance with Lucas Oil High Performance Products. Learn more at lucasoil.com. If you're going to be the best, every day is a work day. There's no time off, no vacation, no sick days. Every day's the same. Breathe, dream, sacrifice, and sweat. Every day you work late, and every morning everyone else knows 
you'll be working late again today. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. The distances aren't getting shorter. The trucks are going farther. The 2013 Ram 1500 with best-in-class fuel economy. Engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. The new Ram 1500. Motor Trend's 2013 Truck of the Year. Unlock the power of HDS with your fingertips. The power to find a needle in a haystack. You will outsmart the fish. Get there first with confidence and always stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. Find, navigate, dominate with the new HDS Gen 2 Touch from Lowrance. Welcome back to the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We're here at our second stop on Lake Erie in Port Clinton, Ohio, where the 129 boat field was greeted with some very strong north wind and waves reaching heights up to six feet high. We've decided to cancel day one. It's steady four to six footers out there right now coming straight out of the north. We always look at safety first. It doesn't matter if it's a fog delay, a heavy rain delay at takeoff. We can delay takeoff 30 minutes. Whatever safety is, that's the only reason we're going to do what we do. A lot of times, walleye tournaments come here earlier in the spring. Coming here in June has spread the fish out everywhere from from Cleveland to the east, to the to Pelee Island, to the north, to Put-in Bay. I mean, there's fish literally throughout the entire system. This weather, the heavy winds that have come up today have actually changing a lot of decisions. The postponement could play right into the hands of the anglers. They're all in favor of this decision. They're gonna get to the fish they want to fish for this tournament to crown our 2013 champion. Going out this morning, basically on day, day one it's gonna be now. We got a lot calmer winds. Uh, it's going to give the field a, a chance to basically run wherever they want. I'm going to keep the game plan the same. We're still running to the same area. It's still quite a ways. I'm hoping for that 43 to 45 pounds area. I think I can do that pretty easily. Those fish are in there, and it's all about finding that pot of, of 10, 11 pounders. Looks like about, there's another 15 other boats out here working this school. I'm kind of working the same school that I knew a lot of guys would be working right away this morning. And I got a school off the, the side of here, about two miles, that I'm kind of saving for myself till the afternoon after these fish get beat up. Inside one. Love it when they sink them, Cory. <laughs> got them? Yep. This is some Lake Erie fishing right here. We got a double. That a good one there. Yeah, I can't stop them either. Damn. He, he, keep yours coming, I got this one. That's definitely an upgrade. There's a good one. There's another nice Lake Erie walleye. 27 and a half incher. Another nice fish, just need, need some bigger ones. With the first day canceled, Corey and other anglers are having to really fish hard to make their days count. Next, we join pro Scott Style on the rocky waters of Lake Erie while he is out deep looking for big walleyes. There's one. Nice. 
nice and easy on this one now, Leon, okay? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I bring them up. Get it. That's a better one there. That's a, I mean, that, that's really what we're after here. We need, uh, <laughs> we need uh, five of those. Scott Style gets his first walleye in the boat. And like he said, you've got to have five good fish like that to be a contender in this tournament. Next, we go to pro angler, Joe Witten, and co-angler, Colonel Scott St. Sauber. Oh no, it's what we want. Nice and gentle. Yes. Right. Got her in the square of the jaw, thank goodness. See if it's an upgrade. Oh. Where's she? What's she at? She gotta grow up another year before she's 27. Yeah. Are you kidding me? 27 and a half. That's all she is. That's what kind of day we had. You're releasing a Lake Erie monster like this, and it doesn't get to go back to Port Clinton. Maybe next year. Thought for sure she'd make it. I did too. It's a good fish. When anglers are not culling nice-sized walleyes like that one, you know you're on a great lake. And Lake Erie is proving to be just that. More day one action is on the way, along with the weigh-in. Don't go away. C.A. Richardson here for Power Pole, where every shallow water anchor is designed and tested to be extremely quiet. How quiet? Let's take a look. Hey, guys. Great work, guys. Power Pole, deadly silent to help you catch more fish. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are. But now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other. So you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. Evan Root E-Tech has been outperforming four-stroke engines for years. But what about the latest 150 four-strokes that claim to deliver two-stroke-like torque? See the proof for yourself. Get your free DVD now and watch how the two-stroke Evan Root E-Tech 150 outpulls and out-accelerates the four-stroke competition. See how it wins when it comes to maintenance, ease of winterization, and more. Evan Root E-Tech is the true champion. Go to EvanRoot150Challenge.com and get your free DVD now. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Evanrude. Proven power. Proven reliability. Jimmy John's. Freaky fast delivery. Mercury. Number one on the water. Minn Kota. Anywhere. Anytime.
Welcome back to Port Clinton, Ohio for the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. We're going back out onto Lake Erie now with Scott Style and co-angler Leon Nuka. So now, where I worked down the brake line before, there was the one little point sticking out on the brake line that had that big fish on and we had a couple others there. I, I was able to use my iPod link and just had it drive down the contour. Now, instead of that brake, I'm gonna come across that point this way and take it out into deeper water. Tell the boat where I wanna go and on a line and so I'll set it and that's done. Next, uh, then I kind of dial in our speed here based on the current. There's a bite. <laughs> That's eat it. There it goes. Come on, eat it. A couple things have changed. Uh, the water is significantly cleaner than it's been. The temperature drop, which I'm assuming, you know, these great lakes, you can pull in deep cool water from out east. And I'm assuming that's what happened here. We pulled in a little bit of cooler water. We'll come over to this side. Okay. That's, uh, that might be a wayfish. Have a ride for a while. It's gonna be an upgrade, I think. Yeah. Nice fish. Upgrade our little one in there. Nice job, Scott. We like those. A very nice keeper from Scott Style, whose on the water techniques are paying off. Speaking of paying off, we take you now to the first day's weigh in where our field of professional and co-anglers have brought in some big bags of walleye. As expected, some very big bags of walleye were weighed in on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour scales on Saturday. Lake Erie, after all, is every walleye fisherman's dream. This lake has earned a reputation of one of the world's finest walleye fishing areas, and trophy fish like this are at every corner. On the stage, we met with pro John Gilman, and co-wangler Joe Jordan, as they brought us our Jimmy John's Freaky Good Catch of the Day. With a total weight of 51.70 pounds of Lake Erie Walla, their banner day gave them the top spot. As your leaders for day one, with hopes for good weather tomorrow, your top 10 leaders are gearing up for another day. Uh, right now, the wind is blowing as strong as it's supposed to blow over the next few days. We're supposed to see diminishing winds. Now, granted, it's the weather. We really don't know. It is the Great Lakes, and this is a walleye tournament, so be prepared for anything. Tune in next time and see how Lake Erie plays out. With unpredictable weather in a highly competitive field, you won't want to miss the final outcome of the second stop on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour.